Hey guys, Mike here with Rapid Purple, taking an in-depth look today at the Acer R240HY computer monitor. So for a really long time, I have put off buying new computer monitors. And I guess the reason behind that was that, well, I had a setup that I really enjoyed. I had uh, two 24 inch monitors. Granted, one was an Acer, one was a Dell. Um, and I really didn't have a need for a newer monitor. Yes, I've always wanted to have two matching sets, but I just didn't need it. At the time, the majority of my work consisted with coding and developing and programming. And I really, well, like I said, I didn't have a need for new monitors. I wanted them for the aesthetic purpose. I wanted them just so that I can have two matching monitors on my desk, but I never needed it. So I always put it off. However, recently, a bit of my job has now started to fall into the line of graphic work. And when it comes to graphic work, you really want to have two matching monitors. They give you a great and ideal representation of what the various different things that you are designing and so forth will truly look like to a person using a modern monitor. Eventually, as I was sitting there and I was doing all this different graphic work with these two monitors that were not the same make and model and subsequently were showing the colors a little bit differently um, across the two different you know, monitors, I eventually developed very serious headaches that would come to me on an almost daily basis because my eyes are constantly trying to adjust from the green being like this here and the green being like this here, for example. So the time came to start looking for new monitors. And here is what we ended up with. So I started off with a pair of Acer R240HY monitors. These are 23.8 inch IPS display, 1920 by 1080 resolution, and four millisecond response time. Now, these are not gaming monitors. And I realized that these probably would do okay for the average gaming, uh, you know, for the, for the average gamer, for somebody that just likes to go ahead and play little games in between their office projects and uh, things along those lines. I'm sure that these will be fine. However, I probably would not go off and strongly recommend these as a gaming monitor just because these were never intended to do that. They were never intended to be gaming monitors or gaming displays. These were intended to be a great budget monitor. So when I say budget, I mean that these were so cost effective that we outfitted the whole entire office with them because frankly once I had them and I was using them everybody fell absolutely in love with them and the price point was so great that uh, well why not buy them for everybody for us it only made sense as we were doing all the different graphic work and everything was coming together and everybody was working on the same well, graphic so to speak it would make sense for everybody to have the same exact monitor to be able to view how those colors are as accurately and as appropriately as possible so we all ended up with these monitors. Now, currently they're going for $131.99 on Amazon, which essentially has been the price for them for quite some time. It'll fluctuate a couple dollars here and there, but that's basically what they go for, and I'll have the links down in the description below. Personally, I think it is a phenomenal price point for this monitor. And you know what? There's been a couple of reviews now of people saying the same thing. For the quality that you get and the price point that this is in, this may very well be the best monitor of 2016, as some reviews say. So you have your standard DCN port over here. It does have VGA, DVI-D, and HDMI support. The only vent on the whole entire unit is located down over here. There's a little vent on this side, a little bit of a vent on this side, and if you have a Kensington lock, this will be locked to a station. There is support for the Kensington lock as well. Um, if you're going to run HDMI, I frankly am not sure if this monitor also has speakers or it does not. As I mentioned, the only ventable ports would be down here. If the speakers also come out of the same exact uh, place, it's possible, but these would not be phenomenal sounding speakers. However, you do get a headphone jack in here, again, if you go ahead and use HDMI. So you can easily plug your headphones right into there and listen to that. Um, I don't make use of that because my um, Razer Black Widow, I forgot what it was called momentarily, has audio jacks right on the side next to the USB that I use for my Kensington expert mouse, so no need for me to go ahead and make use of those. 
Uh, the base of this is substantially sturdy. Um, substantially sturdy. This is a metal bar that holds everything in place. There is no way to mount it, so to speak, normally. I'm sure that the MacGyver people out there can go ahead and make a bracket based out of this mounting place that we have over here. There is a metal vacuum plate in there, so you may be able to come up with something that is strong enough to go ahead and mount on a wall. Um, I don't need to do that, so, well, I won't be doing that. Uh, you cannot raise and lower this. So those of you coming from like a Dell Professional Series monitor, for example, um, over at your job site that did used to have those raising uh, bases, you won't have that functionality with this. You can tilt it various different degrees and so forth. You cannot raise and lower this again. You cannot raise and lower this. You can only tilt it. So that is your only level of adjustment. However, however, you can always pick up, for example, a monitor base and place this on top of that and then you'll even have a little bit of a shelf room, so to speak, underneath the actual base of the uh, monitor. Past that, that is all that we have. So once again, great, beautiful monitors, great crisp color representation, low on power use, four millisecond response time, IPS screen so that you can easily see it from everywhere. And, and this was a great big selling point for me also because I am a big fan of having wallpapers that spread across my various different desktops. And for the main two desktops that I had, or for the main two monitors that I had, I really wanted to ensure that I could nicely and evenly spread the two wallpapers. Now I realize that I'm always going to have, well, this border over here. Right, I get that. That's always gonna be on this old monitor because frankly, it is just this perfect square that fits here great. I can throw up my um, Spotify on here, for example, when I'm listening to it, I can go ahead and put my emails on here and I can go ahead and keep this as kind of a console display window. But these two I'm looking at and I'm working at all the time. And when I sit over here, I really wanted to have as little of a gap in between the two as possible. And right now I've been moving this one around a little bit so it's, it's ruined that little, the perfect gap setup that I have and now you see a little bit of it. But one of the great features of this monitor was this extremely thin frame that it actually has and that it lets the picture push all the way, almost all the way to that little edge. And for me, I mean, that was just beautiful. I loved it. So there you guys have it, the Acer R240HY, 130 bucks, shipped with Amazon Prime, IPS display, full HD, 1920 by 1080, 23.8 inches, 4 millisecond response time, 130 bucks shipped. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon.